if you haven't noticed it's that time of the year new iPhones are out there and here we have the new iPhone 6s plus which is the big iPhone that Apple makes and the launch of this phone happens at a very critical time for Apple Android has become the most dominant computing platform on the planet while iPhones have never done before they haven't even faced such stiff competition before and due to certain perplexing decisions by Apple the iPhone is really expensive this time around it starts at Rs. 62,000 for the smaller iPhone 6s and goes all the way up to Rs. 92,000 for the big iPhone 6s Plus which has 128 GB of storage. Let's find out if this phone is worth the money and cut the muster. As is the case with most models with the S nomenclature, this phone looks identical to the one that was launched last year. And you are not mistaken because more or less it's the same. But Apple is using a new type of aluminium casing which is stronger. Apple claims that it is used in aircrafts and it feels really sturdy. It's really solid. In fact, so much so that we accidentally dropped the phone from 5 feet and it came out pretty unscathed. Now the amazing thing about the new iPhone 6s Plus is that it is the fastest phone on the planet. And that's not by a bit. It's by a country mile. According to some benchmarks, the new iPhone 6s Plus is as fast as a two-year-old MacBook Air. And it is capable of some outlandish tasks that you would traditionally use a workstation for. Even for gaming, this is insane. It is the best smartphone that you can use for gaming. In fact, the graphics are so good that they'll rival that of the Xbox 360. We played a few games and they looked stunning on the iPhone 6s Plus. The big new feature with the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus is a new technology that Apple calls 3D Touch. Now what is 3D Touch? 3D Touch is a new pressure sensitive display technology which reacts to the degree of pressure applied on the screen. So if I apply a bit of pressure to an icon, it's going to react and it's going to show me a contextual menu. If I do the same to the camera button out here it gives me four options if I want to take a selfie I don't need to dive inside the menu of the camera we can just choose if I want to use a selfie if I want to take a normal photo or maybe I want to take a slow motion video if you're a photographer you're going to love the new camera on the iPhone 6s plus Apple has really upgraded the camera resolution for the first time in four years so now there's a 12 megapixel sensor you get a f2.2 aperture and you also get optical image stabilization that's a lot of jargon out here but what you really need to know is that it's going to take beautiful photos Apple has really worked on the color reproduction of the camera and it really takes natural looking colors and overall low light daylight the image quality is really good it also takes beautiful 4k video which is going to really catch the fancy of some videographers out there the bigger deal to me will be the front facing camera on the iPhone 6s Plus. Now it gets a 5 megapixel resolution which anyways is really good but the trick out here is that Apple has managed to figure out a way to light up the screen just like the flash on the back side. So when you are trying to take a selfie with your friend you can use the screen as a flash to light up your photos and overall it's going to take better selfies than a competing Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now the one area which really worries people about the iPhone is its battery life. It lasted more than 30 hours on a consistent basis and that happened because of the battery technology Apple is using and some features in iOS 9 which help save battery life. Overall the battery life is really good. Make no mistake, the iPhone 6s Plus is a really, really good smartphone. At the same time, the iPhone 6s Plus is a little difficult to recommend. Imagine. The 16 GB model starts at a mind-boggling 72,000 rupees. The 64 GB costs 82,000 rupees and the 128 GB model costs 92,000 rupees. Now that's an amount which is even more than the MacBook Air. Get that. But still, if you're looking to buy the best Apple has to offer in the smartphone space, then this is the phone to get.